In this three-minute teaching with Tech Tip, we're taking a look at Remind 101. I've heard great things about how easy it is to use to text your students or parents if you wish. And so you come out to Remind101.com and provide the basic information here, name and email address and create a password to get started. This will take you to this screen where you can get started and they want a class name, so I'm just going to create a little test class here. Next, you're going to want to invite students and parents to participate, so you click on the Invite button and you're going to email this proprietary link they give you to the invitees and that's how they're going to sign up. When those who you invite open this link, what they're going to see is this screen here where they can enter a phone number so they can be texted or they can choose to be contacted via email. Those who choose to use a phone number and be contacted via text messaging will have to enter a code that will be sent to their phone to validate that it is the correct phone number and there's a similar process for emails. Once they validate, They'll get one last prompt asking them to enter the full name they wish to be addressed by. It looks like this on their cell phone. After they reply, you'll be all set to text message them, which you can do here on this interface. So, for example, here is a test text message. And I've got subscribers over here. We can see who they are. I go ahead and I send it, and it's going to go to all the subscribers. And here we see an example of a text message as received by a student. A couple things about using the system for messaging through email. First, when your um, invitees confirm that they want to uh, use email, uh, they'll get a link, they'll click on it. Uh, the first time they do that, they'll get a prompt that says, what's your name? And it almost sounds like there's a right or wrong answer. It says, your teacher needs to know your name to send you messages. And it almost sounds like, well, I better enter exactly the right thing or it's not going to work. But that's not the case. This is just the label that the teacher will see within the interface when they go to message you. Um, so the students can enter whatever they want, they should enter, you know, an appropriate name so that they're recognizable. So for example, now back here in the interface, we see two subscribers, the original one where I subscribed via, via texting and then another one where I subscribed via email. And when you send messages, they will by default go to the whole group. But if you want to just have one person, you can delete that whole group reference and pick just one, uh, just so you're aware that you, you can in fact do that to so send to one or more individuals without sending to the whole group. You can also very easily delete a subscriber completely from a class just by simply clicking on them and then choosing this remove from test class option. And just to wrap up, here's a simple example of a message received via email. So there you have it, Remind 101, an excellent free tool for messaging, one-way messaging out to students as well as to parents and also to teachers if you want. Go ahead and check it out and enjoy.